for you. Yes, it's our absolute best quarter ever. And first, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all the AutoNation associates who put on their mask every day since April and take care of our customers. The results are driven by a significant shift of the American consumer towards personal mobility. They have rediscovered everything they love about the American automobile. Namely, it gives them a sense of security, independence, and freedom. And coming out of the lockdowns, they said, you know, so much for sharing everything. I'd really like to have my own space that I define, and I want more of it. And you see this shift in the consumer mindset uh, impacting housing, uh, home care, and most importantly, retail automobile business. Now, combined with that, we have a shortage of inventories because the plants were closed for 10 weeks and they're gradually ramping up, but industry inventories are still 25, 30% below where they should be, if not even more. So it was challenging to address, uh, adjust pricing to reflect uh, the shortages, but, uh, and of course, we cannot forget for both housing and automotives that interest rates are incredibly low which our customers absolutely just love. Uh, and I think rates are going to be low for years. Uh, so you put it together, this shift, pivot to personal mobility, uh, symbolized by the American automobile, combined with low rates, gave us very, very strong performance. Also, all our investments in that digitals, as you and I, Becky, have talked over the years, have given us the ability to operate much more efficiently with higher productivity. So you get this perfect combination of increased gross profit with a lower cost basis, and you have the best quarter in the history of the company. You know, I, there are so many things I want to dig into here because this is fascinating, and I've really been looking forward to talking to you about this, Mike. We have chronicled with Phil LeBeau what's happened with used car prices, how they've skyrocketed because of what you just mentioned, inventory levels being 25 to 30 percent below what would normally be there. How long do you think those high prices last for used automobiles? How quickly do we get more inventory of new cars in? Yeah, uh, here's the point, Becky. So this demand shift that I'm talking about is across all price points, across new vehicles, across pre-owned. It, it's across the entire spectrum of individual mobility. That's the headline. The demand for individual mobility has gone through the roof. And, you know, I think uh, this uh, pandemic slash shelter in place has shifted the American psyche uh, in a long-term way. And uh, it's hard to predict past five years, but for the next three to five years, there has been a, a shift in demand. Now, as far what? as um, the inventory situation, that will gradually approve, but then we'll have more volume. So we have to, it's always as a retailer, a balance between uh, pricing and volume, and we're managing that well. And as uh, the factories can do a bit better, uh, we'll, we'll adjust to that, but net net, We'll either sell more volume or, and adjust pricing, or uh, the availability is not there, and we'll get it on the pricing side. So do you think prices will still be at these elevated levels, let's say, three or four months from now? Well, there's no question that the demand will be there three, four months to now. And I think we're into the first quarter, if not the second quarter, depending on the manufacturer, uh, until availability will improve. We made absolutely no progress in the third quarter. Our inventories are actually lower at the end of the third quarter than they were at the second quarter uh, when it comes to new vehicles. So imagine you have a complicated global supply chain. They had to put uh, social distancing in all the plants. They all have protocols to keep their workers safe. And if something happens, uh, there's an interruption in the work. Uh, also, uh, shipping and transportation is extremely uh, difficult uh, on the supply chain, even, even getting finished units to us. So I think we're into next year on the supply side. The demand will still be there next year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.